All right, guys, welcome to episode 169 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go over on Patreon, check us out over there. And if you haven't done so already, get yourself some merch. We're going to have a whole new line coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, man, it's a beautiful day. We're back with another one. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? We're good. We're good, man. Just have my Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. I'm telling you, man, Red Bulls get you right. And this is not sponsored by Red Bull. Get at us. Get yeah, at bro. Us. I, need, I need at least one in the morning, bro. Yeah, bro. I need an energy drink. We were talking about that shit the other day. Shout out to Chris and shit. We were talking about that the other day, like... Drinking too many. Too though. many's bad, bro. That <laughs> shit'll like you have your Yo, heart pumping, nah, bro. You be sweating. Yeah, that shit. Ready had, to lift the couch for man, no reason. Nah, <laughs> for real. It's not even that, bro. I get the jits, bro. I get the jittery, like I get real jittery and shit, bro. I noticed, and I went to go buy me a watch and shit. Not buy me, but size me a watch. And I went to go like go like this, and my hand was like clammy and shit. Not not even clammy. Just like my hands are always clammy. But but the thing is, like <laughs> this shit, like. I started getting like like shaky kind of like I don't know and then like yeah. I always get the jits when I drink too much caffeine and mm-hmm. I'm just like I'm like oh fuck I noticed I've been like that for a bro. while no nah, I've been like that for a minute now and I'm like man that's not good I need to fucking chill out nah, that's, but that's, what, that's what they call speedballing bro you're speedballing you're fucking it's like damn near being yacked out bro Nah, fuck that. I don't fuck like that. that. Might as well do fucking cocaine at yeah, that you point. Might as well just Shit. go all the way, bro. Dive head first like nah. fucking Scarface. My nose Straight is too up. small to do cocaine. Listen, man. Coke is just fucked. Like, fuck that. I feel like I clog my nose up. <laughs> For real, bro. I swear to God, bro. You ever seen the Nigga people that you do coke? You gotta have some fat nostrils to do that. Nah, I've seen people that do coke. They got big nostrils, boy. They Yo, can fucking... Listen. <laughs> no, I've seen people fuck their nostrils up. Yeah, they had to get like, surgery. They fuck like they fuck around, bro, and their whole like nose is fucked up on the inside. The cartilage is gone and shit. Yeah, fucked. yeah, I know. I know. I've seen it. I haven't actually seen it, but my coworker had it done. Listen, She's from man. Miami, so that's as, that's all you gotta say. <laughs> bing bing, like without a bing bing. She's from Miami. Three oh five. I'll tell you what happens a lot in Miami, though, bro. <laughs> Niggas getting tased. Bro, I saw that shit the other night, bro. It Niggas was crazy. Niggas getting tased every day, B. Yo, I, right? swear to, I swear to God, bro, we're just leaving and shit. And I like I was on like a little date. And I said bye to my boy. We crossed the street. I look to my left, bro. I see a fucking bicycle cop pull up. There's like three of them. The guy starts running. And we're like... Oh, he's everybody, out. everybody he's in the street, the whole, everybody in the intersection just froze and like looked at this the situation. The guy started running. It was like, oh shit! The cops started running. The cop was fast. I'll them give him that. Don't be slow. No, especially if you you ride on a bike for seven hours a day. Fucking the guy fucking jumps on him, hops him, throws him on the ground. Guy gets up again, and then he just tases him, and then he just fucking just like <laughs> everybody's like, oh. Yo, listen. Well, at least they didn't you. I'm, I'm happy your at, taser work because I've seen it not work too. At, at least they didn't. <laughs> at least they didn't shoot you, man. Cause yeah, nah. I mean, most situations don't call for a real gun, bro. Yeah. That's why they give you mace and they give you fucking tasers. They give you everything. Both to use before you have to use your gun. Yeah, that's so, why they give you that. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Most situations don't call for it, but it's like nigga, I'm gonna tase your stupid ass. Some like, people, some people have been tased at our school too, like in high school. Like I've seen people yeah, get tased. Bro, that's what I'm saying. That ta- the first taser didn't work on him. Yeah. That's why he started running. They tried to tase him. Only one of the prongs hit him, and he just ripped that shit out and kept running. Wow. So it, you, bro, listen. You gotta know what what you're doing, even with a taser, bro. You they say just shooting that bitch at him ain't going. You gotta know where to hit him. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, they also say like you have to get tased as well. Oh yeah, when you get when you go through the class, they yeah. mace you, they tase you, all that bullshit. I've seen I've seen the uh, the videos of people like going through it, and they're like, ah, and they gotta like punch through. Would you like, rather get maced or tased? I want to do any of the training. <laughs> Like to be honest, like the that's only probably the main I would part. Do is the shooting part. That's it. Just that's yeah, it. nah. I'm qualified. All right, I'm qualified, bro. <laughs> Yo, this will be the first guy get tased, bro. <laughs> yeah. Leave the whole fucking scene behind. <laughs> Niggas getting whooped. You don't give a fuck. My boy Kane. My boy Kane's like, bro. If there was a like, if the world ended, bro, you'd be the first to fucking die. That's what he told me. He's like, bro, you think your little pistol's gonna save me, bro? Nah, nah. Like, Yo, people <laughs> think that guns, period, bro. They want to. Bl- they just gonna blow the whole shit up. Like, yeah. let's be real. Yeah, like, your gun ain't doing shit. You ain't shooting at no bomb. And I was like, you know. What now? I thought about it. It's like, bro, what if people come with you with like rifles and stuff? You know what I mean? Well, I'm shooting as much as I can, yeah, you bro. You better have a rifle and you better no. have a fucking chest plate on. No, too. for real, dead okay. ass. 
that made me think like wow bro that is true bro if they drop down on my ass bro i'm fucked bro <laughs> listen <laughs> Listen, I got rid of my I got I got rid of my rifle at the wrong time, bro. Listen, man. Biden you can time. always go get another one. You're just gonna get taxed now. Yeah, <laughs> bro. No cap. That's crazy. Now, you, I mean, if I can find it, fucking, you can find it, bro. You can find it. Fucking Biden. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck I was now, but listen, man. It's crazy. Like we went out this weekend on Friday for our boy's birthday, man. Shout out to Chris. Happy birthday, bro. Round of applause to him. And, um, applause, yeah, bro. Man. We, he he took us out. He took us out to Charlie's. He's like, "Yo, come out to Charlie's. We never been and shit." And I'll tell you what, man, it was a whole different experience, bro. Whole different experience. Yeah. Like the first thing I noticed, there was not a single fucking price on that menu, bro. Not one. Not a single one. Not one price. That's when you know. That's you, when you, you know. You, <laughs> listen, bitch. If you ain't got the pockets, get out. Get you, out now. You have to have a certain <laughs> salary. <laughs> For you to not have a men, like price Yo, on a menu, facts. Like that's you gotta, that's fact. like all right. You see that? All right, man. Like just know we paying a grand. Mm-hmm. This off might rim. be a fifteen hundred dollar tip, like uh, fi- the fucking fifteen hundred dollar tab off rip. But yeah, nah, it was a good experience, bro. Like they brought the they brought the steak out. You know what I'm saying? They're showing us the different cuts of steaks and shit, bro. I'm fucking flabbergasted. I gotta bring it back up. Bro, yeah. this lady said the wagyu, the wagyu gets massaged four times a day, drinks beer and wine, That's and listens to classical music. It's stress free. <laughs> what the fuck? I looked there. I was like, "Yo, they're living better than Yo, us." They, they're living way better than Those us. Those fucking they're, wagyus they're, are cooling, bro. Nah, the wagyus are really cool, bro. When I hear the word wagyu, all I think of like a steak with like sunglasses on. Nah, it. facts. That's all I think of seeing. My dogs are cooling, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> And he had he he lived a wonderful life, but he had n- he bro that is Listen. the definition of like he did not see it coming. No no no, because <laughs> they they have the hater blockers on for you and they put the powdered wig. Yeah. You know I saw a picture of the fucking wagyu chilling yeah. listening to Beethoven with Beethoven's wig, and they think bro that these people love him. These cows, they grow bro, up. You're thinking, massaging me four yeah, times a day, bro. That's like you being my best friend for 16 years and then you eat me. Bro, they, you fucking sit. <laughs> nigga, you're massaging this cow four times a day. How do you not grow like an attachment to it? I couldn't do it. No, nah, I, I mean. I couldn't have that job. I don't know. I'm yeah. sitting here petting fucking <laughs> Susie and Betty. <laughs> All fucking three months Fucking with Fuck the wig Fuck out of here Nah You got fucking Susie over here And you got Betty <laughs> And you got Cranny Over here I don't even know what Cranny is If, that, if that's hey, a name Hey we ask questions bro Nah but that, that Yeah that is pretty crazy bro Like yeah, I was, man I was, I was taken back by that I was flabbergasted I was like these wagoos First of all Just to get slaughtered The bro. size of the steak was like Bro, was like, huge, bro, okay, is this real or is that plastic? Is that like show and tell one or is this nah, like real? Nah. They brought a whole tray of different cuts of steak and it was all real. And they were like this fucking fat, bro. Like the fattest, crispiest, most fucking, the freshest steak you ever fucking had in your life. No, nah, for real. Like, Ima- for real imagine, for real. imagine the people that that do work there though. They, they probably talk hella shit in the back, boy. Hell yeah, bro. Yo, these niggas are getting some Walmart ass fucking steak. Nah, niggas. man, when I pass by, they'll show you the nice one up front, but they'll show you what we cooking nah, back in. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what, I did a walkthrough. I always do a walkthrough when I fucking, you know what I mean? I, I walked to the back, I saw some wood. I was like, yo, nah, facts. I was like, nah, this that was is the how first they, thing I saw. When yeah. I walked in, I pointed at the wood. I was like, yo, I got that's, excited. That's Off how they rip. cook? I was like, that's how they do it. They don't do it on the. He's like, nah, they cook it, but I was like, <laughs> oh, we in here, bro. Nah, I don't even need to know the price. Just bring it out. <laughs> nah, for <laughs> no real. Cap. No wonder the, the bill's a fucking thousand dollars, bro. bro the fucking, was, that was they the used bill. every tree in America to bro, fucking. They <laughs> fucking chopped down the last fucking forest in the Amazon <laughs> no. to make your wagoo. Nigga. You know the development right here that they tore down? They took all the wood <laughs> from there, bro. You know? Nah, that's trash wood. They're going straight to the fucking Ozarks, bro, where the wood is fat. <laughs> nice nah. and fat, bro. You seen them trees, bro. You know them, the redwoods, whatever you call it, they're huge, bro. The trunk is yeah. like the size of this house. Nah, facts, facts. <laughs> but those shits are like hundreds of years old. Bro. Thousands. That shit's been there since like I would say the thousands. first caveman bonked the woolly mammoth in the head and shit, bro. Yeah, bro. You ever seen Avatar? Where like yeah, the, I yeah. love that movie. That movie yeah. was lit, bro. They need to make another one. It's kind of yeah. They should. They need to make another. They one. should. Yeah, the first one was really good, but I it feel really like good. I feel like those movies are like after the second one. It's just like. 
After the I second like, one. I feel not like the first. that was such a good movie that if they just make one more and they do it right, that's it. That's it. It would be two great movies and that's it. But, but they say I agree you, with you. Yeah. Like the Star Wars. It's like, nigga, Star one and Wars two 17, is, Luke's yeah. great great grandson goes back in time. Fast it's like, nigga, I don't want to fucking hear it. Bro. Nah, 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 they're talking. Nah, Please talk. stop with the Fast and Nah, they're doing it again. But, nah. I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed, bro. I'm dead. No, it's like every year we talk about the same one. But then they I swear to God, we talk about Fast and Furious like for three years straight. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys, son. I think the producer is is coming into is coming into like he has like common sense now because you know what he said. He made a statement. He's like, yeah, I think we need to go back to where we started. You know what that means? He's gonna go back <laughs> and tell you the story of Luke's best friend. Now nah, he's gonna, gonna go gonna back. Be Sixteen more movies of a whole other fucking character. Nah. Now, y'all listen. Now nah, they're gonna go back. Shit. Gonna stop. Gonna... You know what it is? It's just money. Let's be real. It's a fucking money grab. Star Wars is one of the highest selling fucking movies of all time. Like that shit right there makes so much money. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. Like stupid money. Yeah. So that's let's be real. That's what it's for. And the same thing with Fast and Furious. Like, they've made so much money off these movies. People are going to go watch them just because of, like, whatever. You know what I mean? But please stop, bro. That shit's so, like... Nah, I mean, we're like... We're, we have flying cars now in Fast and Furious, bro. Like, these niggas are going out into outer space racing Elon Musk's rocket and shit. Like, get the fuck nah, out of here, I think they're going to go back to, like, when, like... Paul Walker had a fucking Supra. But you can't go back to when Paul Walker had a Supra because Paul Walker ain't here. And yeah. Paul Walker was that dude. Yeah, it's kind of hard to like... He made the Supra. Yeah. Like, let's he be did. real. The car was clean. Yeah, but it was one. him that made that car. The green one. It was the orange one with the green yeah, shit on it. Green. Like, with the spoiler and shit. Like, it's iconic. But let's be real. You just see that car. It's like, oh, okay, that's a nice car, I guess. But that's Paul Walker Supra, nigga. That's the super he gave Vin Diesel at the end of the movie for my dog to skedaddle. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's a different car. Yeah, that's it. It makes it a different car, bro. But they can't go back to do that. They can't. Like, how are you gonna do it? I who mean, you gonna, who, who are you gonna go get? I feel like Brad Pitt or some shit. I feel like we need to go back to that time, bro. We need to go back to like. I remember wanting to have cars like that and shit, and like drive through the city, and then. I, I got my car stuck and Yeah, you you grow up and then you realize you're like, yo, these niggas weren't doing this in real life. There's no way they're going over I these mean, bumps and with and these. If, if they do then they got something way better than I do, like for real. They don't. No, you know that what I mean? shit is they, all they, scraping they, the bottom of that fucking car. You ever seen that shit? You remember in the movie when he's when he's riding away from the cops and the shit's like scraping, like he hits something <laughs> and, and it's then, fucking sparks. Yeah. It was That's like, literally how it would be, except that your car would stop moving in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you're fucking up your whole shit. Nah, but yeah. Anyways, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. You know, just make it the last one. Hopefully, this last one's gonna be good. All right. So fuck you guys, and um, it better be fucking good. That's all I gotta say. Nah, big facts. Yeah, big facts. Fucking, I went and ordered this fucking steak the other day. I don't know what you guys like on your steak, but I like a one sauce. These motherfuckers didn't have no A1 sauce. Round of applause to the A1 fans. You know what I'm saying? I personally am not a big A1 sauce fan. I'll use it. Yeah. But it's not like something that's like, oh, I need it with my steak. You know, yeah. but I'll, I'll use it if it's on the table. It's, it's A1 sauce, barbecue, and if they got nothing, maybe ketchup. That's my, that my shit's backwards. I'm not going to lie. I like barbecue first. Barbecue? That's my shit, bro. That's barbecue. always been my, my go-to sauce. Barbecue's good. I like sweet and sour. But then we're just talking like... Chicken nuggets and shit. And Nigga, we're talking brokey <laughs> shit. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. I was asking the fucking, the sauces. Remember we asked the sauce? She's like, oh, it's a fucking marsala sauce. I'm like, what the fuck are, like, these sauces are different. Go <laughs> ask for ketchup where First we was at. First of all. <laughs> After, They're gonna be like, nigga, we got some fucking tomato sauce for you, uh, yeah, fresh yeah, from the I mean, fucking tree. I mean, the, fucking, the sauce on the steak by itself was so juicy. Bro, nah, you that, didn't need no fucking sauce. On nah, you know, but the and then I went to a fucking world of beer and I had a steak and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> you get what you pay for. Nah, that was actually really good and it made me you get what you pay for. It made me question, like, hold on, was that shit worth it? Nah, it was worth it. Nah, I'm just You're good. fucking I'm just tripping. Like, I'm that just fucking like, $20 steak, nigga. You might as well pick your flip-flop up and bite into it. No, nah, for real. No cap compared to the steak we had. Nah, nigga, that was a steak. Nah, bro. nah, that's how I knew. You know how I know? Because I ate that steak 
And then I felt hungry like an hour later. When I ate the bro, first, when the first time we had, you know, the quality steak, I didn't feel hungry at nah, all for the rest we, of the night. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was nice and fucking full. Yeah, I was a fool. I like, smoked that cigar like a fat <laughs> fuck. If I was a pig, I would have been a nice roasted <laughs> fucking pig. <laughs> a nice, fat, bloated fucking pig, bro. For real. Nah, facts. I was feeling good, bro. To the next day Like that's how you know You ate a good meal You had the energy Like I didn't want to go to sleep Like I was fed Yeah But I didn't have the itis Yeah I was full as fuck But it wasn't like Nigga I need to go take a nap I had the itis bro Yesterday bro I was that's like that. Yeah and the girl was like Yo <laughs> like you wanna go And drink and shit I was like to be honest with you I'm gonna keep it a buck I'm smoking And I'm tired I'm, I'm gonna take you home After this No bro facts. For real Like facts. I'm not Listen, about Listen man that. we getting older bro like, That whole staying out Till 2, 3, 4 in the morning Shit is Done. Nah, I got home at midnight. I ain't bullshit. Me too, bro. I said fuck the that. other day. The other day when we went out, nigga, I was home by like twelve thirty, bro. I was like, fuck this, man. Well, I, I went, went out. out I went out. Had like, nice dinner. Had a yeah. nice cigar. A couple drinks, and that's it. Like, what else is there to do? Let's nah, be real. Nah, what nah, else nah, is there to do out here, bro? I'm I going mean, to the house. It's the same shit, bro. Same shit every time. Yeah, bro. And or then you like, want to go downtown? You want to fucking look at drunk bitches not know how to walk in only, heels? It's only like, fun. It's, same shit. it's only fun when it's like when you have all your friends there. All your friends together. When you're there together and you and you're able to do it together, I think it's more fun. Like doing it by yourself and just two people is like, ah, nah, I'd rather not. I, I feel not. like it's all the same fucking bullshit. Well, I mean, if people it's, people end up getting drunk, niggas start arguing with this dude. The night gets fucking ruined. This and that <laughs> happens. Shit happens, nigga. Yeah. Like it just it is what it is. But every time people I get went tased. out, every time I went out, bro, I always I swear to God I had that sixth sense where it's like I'm leaving now. And next day, I always heard all the bullshit. Oh, bro, you left at the right time. Beepity, bobbity, bob, boobity, beepity in the face. I'm like, oh, I told y'all, niggas. I'm Yo, out. Bobby, <laughs> got, Bobby got it in the face. I'm fucking out. What for the real, fuck? Real. But nah, bro, that's just how that shit go, man. Like, you just get to that age, dog. I seen, that age. I seen the cops with the, with the horse. They don't, oh, fuck, they don't around. fuck around. They'll run you over you with that horse. Yeah. And if you touch the horse, it's like a police officer. Yeah, no, that's like, like assault. <laughs> On a horse, bro. Yo, that's how that movie you remember, uh, Half Bait with Dave Chappelle back in the day. Yeah, half that, his yeah, boy went that. to jail for fucking giving the horse food, and the Man. horse died. Oh <laughs> yes, cry. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you got hit with a murder charge on a police officer nigga, for feeding the horse a carrot or some stupid right. shit. <laughs> Bro, I would be fucking bro. pissed, bro. Bro, imagine that. Nigga, you go Nah, but he did give him some stupid shit. He gave the horse like like popcorn, sweet caramel popcorn or something, and the horse was diabetic and it died. <laughs> and the cop was like, You killed my horse. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I remember that. Yo, that movie's fucking great. Y'all go watch that Yo, shit. I Smoke remember one that. and watch that nope. and tell me that shit ain't, ain't funny, bro. The only reason I watched that fucking movie was because of you. Bro, I swear to God, you're like movie. you haven't watched Have Baked, Have Baked, How High. There's so many movies. Or How High, it was it was How, how High, yeah, yeah, How High is it wasn't classic. Half baked. Yeah, with Red Man and Method Man, bro, like that shit is classic, classic, bro. Yeah, I mean, like I want to live that lifestyle. Like I've seen, <laughs> like for real, like I've seen, like the way, like no, like Method Man and Red Man how they live oh, in real chilling, life, chilling. bro. Like they don't live that. Crazy lifestyle. You ever seen wow. MTV Cribs by by Red Man, bro? He lived in like the same two story my grandma that had. Yeah, why like do you, that? bro? But the thing is, is like I be listening to Walk a Flock and nowadays, bro. And I'm like, yo, I agree with him so much. He's like, bro, like, why do I need to show you that I have money? Yeah, exactly. Like, That's exactly I, why. Yeah, why do I need to show you I have bread? Yep. You know what I'm saying, like, if I have it, I have it, bro. Whether I pull up in a fucking Lambo or I pull up in a Honda, nigga, I have it. <laughs> like, you like, see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't, like, people just want to show it to other people. Yeah, That's yeah. really all it really comes down to. It's, it's like, you want to like, show it to other people, but yeah. none of that shit fucking matters. Like, nigga, how is your morals looking? How is your integrity? Are you waking up in a good mood? Yeah, like, are you a piece of shit person? Do you wake up and, like... Like enjoy the day. Like, do you facts. wake up in a good mood? Like, that's like the most important thing. If you wake up and you're like, Ugh. well, man, you need there's something you need to check because that's not you normal. A, you need to change something in your life. Bro. That's, that's not, not normal. Fulfilling you, bro. Yeah, straight up. That's not fucking normal. And uh, it's like, what does success look like to you? You know what I mean? Because yeah, you can have the money. Yeah, you can have all that. We talk about that. I know it sounds a little bit cliche. You know what I mean? Like people always say this, say that, but it's true though. Like there's more to that. There's more like, you know, like how I said, like waking up, feeling good, feeling positive. Like 
eating right, bro. Eating Fucking right, like putting the right things into your body, putting the right things into your mind. Because a lot of people, a lot of people feel like your diet is just the, what you eat, but it's niggas. Right. What you listen to is what you watch. Is all of it. It's everything combined, bro. Like <clears throat> you listen, like. I talk to my sister, shout out to my sister. I'd be telling her that all the time. I'm like, bro, the shows that a lot of women watch are depressing shows. Yeah, always. And gossiping. it's fictional shows about fictional characters that's not reality. It's not real shit. It may be and happening it out there. It fucking sways but... your vision of reality. Yeah. Like Housewives of LA, all that, all of that is staged, bro. Yeah. Half of those fights are staged, bro. Yeah. It's like, like look, it's a script. Yeah, you, it's like, yo, yeah. Tiffany's gonna walk in the room and throw the drink in her face, and then fucking Timothy's gonna punch him in the face. Like yeah. it's all scripted, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to realize that shit. But it's, I agree with you, bro. That shit's 100. percent You know what I mean? Like fucking the Kim Kardashians and shit. Like you think they, you think them fights get real? Come on, bro. That's just so fake and Come staged, on, bro. bro. They know how many views. They can, they predict how many views that episode's going to get because of the fight. Yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, we're low on ratings. Kim, you got to fucking punch Courtney in the face. <laughs> you know <laughs> okay, what I mean? Like, and it's true. I know a, a lot of women that watch those type of shows. Bro, and that's what they talk about, and they feel like it's real life. And then yeah. the other thing is, it's like, okay, maybe, what if it is real life? What if it is real life for those women? Yeah, baby. No offense, you and your man are in that tax bracket. Yeah, but let's, let, let's and, keep and, it real. It's like them niggas are millionaires, so <clears throat> their real life of yeah. LA is a different real life of LA for you. You and your man go out there and do that. Like million, you're gonna be in a four thousand dollar apartment in the middle of the hood. Yeah, no cap. And like it's true though. It's true what uh what this dude Gary V be saying. He's like, yo, people need to like eighty million people need to reevaluate their their life and and really look at like. Yo, like, does this stuff really make you happy, bro? It doesn't. It doesn't. You're just trying to impress other people. That's facts. Why do you want to show somebody else why, like, you got money and shit? Like, facts. why? Facts. Like, I never understood the people that, like, flash money, like, on, like, on anything. On, on anything. Like, you'll never see, like, I swear to like God. Like, the niggas, like, bro, I know people, bro, that, and they know who they are. I still love y'all. No name said, but they'll go to buy they'll knowingly go buy a two dollar fucking oh, pack of gum I, yeah and pull out three thousand dollars yeah and be like, how much you said it was oh oh my bad two dollars bitch <laughs> bitch you yeah, knew why you know? the fuck do you need to pull out three grand <laughs> yeah and then ask how much it is like nigga you know damn well yeah, bro it's it, two dollars it, and you're don't you're not keeping any of that money, bro. You don't rent, you don't fucking this, you don't that. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like, it's just you know, you're I just don't like to show off to hungry and eager people because I know how it feels. You know what I mean? To sit there and be like, oh man, like you, you down and out and you see other people. And I've never been the person to hate, but I've always been the person to be motivated by it. And yeah, like, exactly. And when I see stuff like that, there's certain ways, like there's 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 certain ways of doing things, right? And if you do it the wrong way, I look at you like that's not the right way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's like I don't want to do that. You'll never see me do it. And if there is one music video I did where I showed money, but it was prop money, bro. It's you different. Know what I mean? That's entertainment. It's, it's, it's man. entertainment. People like, need to understand, bro. Like that shit is entertainment. Yeah. Like I've said it a hundred times, bro. Rappers talk about it a lot. They have. They talk about menages and this and that. Fucking multiple women in songs, and they go yeah. home to their wife. Yeah. They have one wife, they have multiple kids, and they've been together for 16 years. Yeah. But if you listen to his song, you think he's single and he's not, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah, telling you to fuck all these bitches. <clears throat> it's the same thing. Both men rappers and women rappers, bro, that's what they preach. If you look at the message nowadays, it's sex, 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 go fuck everybody, don't get in a relationship, it's not worth it, be a boss bitch, be a boss man, and y'all don't need each other. Yeah. That's the message. Yeah. But it, like it's all bullshit, bro. That's why people are fucking depressed because they yeah. listen to other motherfuckers through music, through TV, through shit that's not real. Yeah, <clears throat> and then they try to apply that that bullshit to their real life, and then they they're like, "Oh, why am I depressed?" Because yeah, you need people around you. Yeah, that's why you're depressed. You need to eat better. That's mm. why you're depressed. You need to stop listening and watching garbage. That's why you're depressed. Yeah, like like me and me and mm. they're, them they're, bro talk about leading. it all the time. It's like nigga, like. There's a lot of times I'm catching myself where it's like I listen to to hip hop and I listen to everything. I listen to trap. I listen to it all, bro. But there's times where I have to switch over. Like I'll go listen to some salsa or I'll listen to some classical. I'll yeah, because it's jazz. like like you can't you can't always do. be in that mindset, bro. Yeah, because it's 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 literally all vibrations, guys. And it's like, programming. Like yeah, they're programming you, and you don't even know it. It's one of those things that's like you ever you ever see the like uh, the not the uh, sign language um, like they hypnotize people and shit. 
Yeah, yeah. Like that, I really believe in that type of stuff. Like low key. Like I'm not really like educated on it 100, percent but like when I hear hear about stuff like that, I really feel like people can be hypnotized in certain ways. Nah, it's just, bro. It's something as simple as like programming, like you're saying. It, it's that's how they do with fashion. Uh. That's how they do with fashion. They put one thing out there, bro, and then it just it programs the people to go buy it. Yeah, that's why all oh, the new season color. You're pro- that's program. Mm-hmm. Oh, this new season's bag. The color is olive. Yeah. Like, nigga, nobody was wearing olive last year. Nobody yeah. was wearing olive a week ago. But because you saw it on an Ole commercial and fucking Nicki Minaj wore some shit that's olive and fucking Jay Z wore an olive fucking suit. Now everybody's wearing olive. Yeah. It's all programming, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, it, yeah. like it's not hard to do, and they do it all the time. Yeah. Like most people's swag is not your swag. It goes, yeah, it goes. Yeah, <laughs> shit is the, straight off the shelf. You ever see those people? Of somebody else. You, like, ever, you ever see those people that wear something that doesn't fit them, and it's like, bro, this would look great on me, but not on you. Yeah, type thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we all have our swag. Like, if I wore that cowboy hat, I look like a fucking douche. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now I thought look like Red Dead Redemption but, over there, but bro. my dog over here, he could rock that shit all day because it's not my swag. Like there's yeah, everybody has people. their own shit, bro. That's where it goes to being yourself mm-hmm. and knowing yourself. Facts. You know what I mean? Like I, there fact. is some outfits that like I wear and my my homeboy could wear because exactly. it's like it's our swag. Facts. Like that's just our thing. But fucking Pedro over here wears some shit that bro. it's just <laughs> not gonna look right on him. Take it off. Yeah, you know bro. what I mean? Nah, real you shit. You see what I'm saying? So know yourself, guys. Know For, yourself, don't be bro. a Lizzo. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 facts, facts. That shit. Listen, guys, uh, we've talked about it before. That is ridiculous. You can't, like, women, bro. Women are different, bro. Like, y'all will support the most unhealthiest, toxic shit and then talk about how you don't like that. You don't like it around you. Yeah. It's like, to me, bro, somebody that's overweight and unhealthy, bro, bragging about it, like, that's not cool. <laughs> it's like yeah. It's like accept me as I am. It's like and y'all women are getting real manly over here too. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all, man. Y'all look so girly on the outside, but in the inside, I'll be like, hey, you know, Yo, I, baby, if you smoke backwards, you a nigga to me. Nah, it's not even. I'm gonna I'm dap you up, man. If you smoke a backward, I'm dapping you. Bro. I almost no hugs, no cap. Nah, bro. I almost fucking fucked up. Right, I was at a stop sign and I was about to turn left, and this girl was already waiting there. So I went and I started turning left. She was like, she started driving, didn't let me go. So I, I swerved. Bro, she looked at me. She had the window down. She's like, I was here first, fucking dumbass. Got your ass. And I'm like, drove her. off. Matter of fact, and, round of applause to her. And you know what? Hey, round of applause to her. And you know because what? Because I've seen Johnny drive. <laughs> no, I've never been so turned on in my life. Now, yeah, you want to get like, a number, pull over, the fuck out of the like, I was I was I was distraught, but I was also very like relieved that like she talked to me like that. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a toxic you know side of nobody, me. Nobody nobody tells you to go fuck off and that yeah. you're a fucking dumbass. But she was cute too, so it was like wow, wow, okay. Well, I wanted to turn around and follow her home, <laughs> but I was like, nah, that, that's <laughs> you, creepy. That's that creepy been as three well. charges in one. <laughs> I like you know that shit right now. Nah, hell no. Nah. No cap. Fucking but listen, great. man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>